Kinky Trinity Academy was started uh, a little over 30 years ago um, by a group of concerned parents who were um, really concerned about the education of their kids and the environment that they were uh, learning in. And uh, they just started praying about a school. Uh, specifically, they wanted to develop uh, either a non-denominational or interdenominational Christian school. So God has to really work in a lot of people's hearts, a lot of people's lives to put something like this together. So that kind of thing happened, I'm sure, even before I came. You know, just those kind of struggles that you're working through. And after uh, some time of prayer and consultation, uh, they decided to launch a school. Uh, they start off pre-K through high school, which was a pretty ambitious goal for them. It's a great place to find new friends and um, you can be okay with your faith in God and if you're not a Christian, it's a great place to actually learn about God. We're unique uh, and different from a government-run school in that we can freely uh, share Christ with students. Uh, and I think that that's a very important part uh, of development in terms of their educational experience. Uh, that's something that we instill here, that God certainly loves kids, but that he also should be respected. And I think that's important. A lot of our teachers and staff uh, really sacrifice to serve here. Uh, I am very well aware of what they make uh, here per year financially uh, as their salary. And it's definitely a calling and uh, it's definitely service for them. And it's definitely in a sense missionary teaching. It's almost guaranteed that when you come to Trinity, you're going to, it's going to be all Christian role models throughout the school. And being able to go to any teacher you want to, and if you have a problem, I mean, it's just so nice and it's comforting because, say if you have a problem in a class or say stuff's not going well at home, you get to go to a teacher and, and you can talk to them about it and they'd be fine and they can share with you stuff out of the Bible. And um, it's just fantastic having that kind of security here at school. I like the environment, like um, my teacher, Mrs. Marchakaitis, is really, really nice. And if I ever have any problems, like with friends or something, I, can, I know I can go to her. A student who comes to KTA is exposed to teachers who know their subjects and know how to teach. Uh, what a, a student gets in addition is a teacher who's not just punching a time clock. We're, we're here because we're committed to do it. I'm here because I'm committed to, to young people. I have uh, two daughters here and I see the godly influence on them and I, I also see how teachers interact and relate with them. Uh, they're able to pray with my daughters, which is important to me. You actually get to pray well, like before lunch or something and you just feel calmer throughout the day so when you learn stuff you feel like more in tune with God and especially since he's mentioned in some of the textbooks and Normally in public schools, you just don't get that special effect. We used to have to shuttle. We had a bus that went back and forth, back and forth, back and forth um, several times during the day for different activities because we would have chapel at one location. We had PE at another location. And, and then when it came to uh, sports, we would have to uh, rent f other facilities uh, for practices and things like that. So now we have a gym. We can do everything here. Yeah, a lot of the school events, I mean, they're really fun. We get to a bunch of basketball tournaments, and uh, there's spelling competitions for the younger grades. Uh, it's really enjoyable, and uh, everybody's invited to come to all of the events, so it's just a fun time. There's a lot of different basketball teams, and then there's girls softball, and there's soccer, which I'll probably do next year, because I like soccer. But in terms of a realistic view of themselves and a realistic worldview and the spiritual emphasis of that, and in other words, um, I think that we talk a lot about self-esteem in this country at this point in time. Well, the healthiest self-esteem is to have a, a, a realistic view of yourself as a person. Normally we only have chapel once a, once a week on Wednesdays and um, speakers are great. We get a bunch of different speakers and from all around actually and it's really it's just really nice to be able to learn about God in school. It's uh, just amazing how God will meet your needs when you wait on him. Then you have a very high possibility or a high chance of becoming a Christian at this school. We moved here um, when I was in second grade and um, Grace was assigned to help me um, 
like get around everywhere and um, make me like feel more at home. We've just started going over across the street to the nursing home and helping them. Okay. We're hoping to go over there and play games and stuff with them. So maybe we could like talk to God about like with them at those times. Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in life, in love, in faith, and in purity. First Timothy 4.12. And that's our prayer, that we can be very influential in this community for Christ, not, not only academically, but spiritually.